Hi, I'm Roberta Fernandez, and I'm the author of this book, A Knock on the Door. And I want to thank you very much for stopping by my page today to find out a little bit about me and about the book I've written. I'm 63 years old. I'm a board certified hypnotist, and I had no idea that there was a book like this inside of me. And one day I was doing my meditation and practicing some self-hypnosis, and I was inspired to write a book for fun. And so I sat down at my computer on a Saturday afternoon, and somehow the words just started flowing. I didn't know who the characters were going to be. I didn't know what the plot was really going to look like or how it was going to end. But it was really fun for me to just go along with it and watch it all unfold. And it's the same kind of experience that I hope you as a reader has as well, that you are excited to finish the book, that you enjoy watching these characters and get to know them intimately, and that you enjoy their story and are as engaged with it as they are, as it's happening to them. So let me tell you a little bit about how um, the story goes. The story is about two strong women, uh, an idea that I'm passionate about, being a woman coming up in a, a very different era um, than we are in today. And it is important that I work with and I help empower women. And so I, I wanted that in my story. So it starts with Lori Crawford. Her husband, Jack, of 25 years, has been killed in a terrible accident. And Lori is really trying to work through her grieving process when she's contacted by Jack's old assistant, Rita Johnson. And Rita has worked side by side with Jack for 20 years. She looks at Jack as a son and she finds some very disturbing information at Springware, the gaming software company they work for. And it indicates to her that Jack's car accident was not an accident, that he was indeed murdered. Well, Rita reaches out to Lori and these two women embark on a journey that they have no idea where it's going to lead them and the kind of players that are gonna be involved in the things that are happening at Springware. And these two women have to decide, do they have the courage and the ability to bring the perpetrators to justice? And it is a big decision because they're, they're not anybody in a powerful position. And that's what I loved about writing this story, how I could take characters that were your average everyday people, make you feel something toward them, and show you the reasons for what drove them to overcome this amazing situation that they face. And so I'm excited for you to read the book and I'd love your feedback. And there's a lot of offers here that are fun and exciting for you to consider too, because just like hypnosis has helped unlock the power of my mind to write this book and to do many other things in life I never dreamed I could do, so I hope that you take me up on a couple of these offers and maybe you can have a similar experience. So once again, thanks for stopping by, spread the word, and I'm so excited for you to read this book and stay tuned for the sequel because it's about half written. I hope to be hearing from you soon.